You ever noticed how hard it is to try to hold one of these small video cameras? And then you're limited if you want to go lower or where exactly you can point the thing? Well, you know what? I think I have a solution to the problem. If you'll stick around, I'll show you what I made. I started by creating the pattern in Corel Draw, and then I printed it on an 8.5 by 11 white sheet of paper. This is the wood that I needed for the project. It came out of my scrap bin, but I measured each piece to make sure that it would fit the need I had. This is the hardware that you will also need for this project. Next, after using some spray glue, I attach the patterns to two pieces of the wood that I'm going to use. And then I cut them out on the scroll saw. You can sand this handle so you really don't need to spend a lot of time making sure it is really, really accurate. When I started to cut this piece of wood, I realized the one side was lined up perfectly so all I needed to do was cut the width on the other side. Next, I took the handle over to one of my router tables with a roundover bit. I rounded over all the edges. This will make it feel more comfortable in my hand. Next, I aligned the boards to ensure that the hole would be drilled through both of the boards in the same location. I used a clamp to help hold the boards together while I drilled the hole. This does not have to be accurate. You can use a handheld drill if there's no need for a drill press. You just want to try to get it straight and aligned through the center of the boards as close as you possibly can. I'm going to bore a quarter inch hole in the center of the other board that I'm going to use for the camera mount. I'm going to add just a little yellow wood glue to ensure that these two pieces stay together. I'm going to use some 18 gauge brad nails to hold the plywood in place while the glue is drying. Now it's time for assembly. I'm going to put the plywood on the left side of the handle. Then I'm going to insert the carriage bolt through the three quarter inch piece of wood and then through the quarter inch piece of plywood. This way the carriage bolt will have 
the three quarter inch wood to bite into. Also, the, the bolt will not extend underneath the camera mount to interfere when I'm trying to tighten the camera down. Then I apply the washer and wing nut and tighten it up. Then I'm going to take the wing nut and put it on the other hex bolt, but upside down. This way I can feed the bolt through the hole. And then once the camera is mounted, I can use the wing nut to apply pressure to tighten the camera down on the base. Now it's just as simple as adding the camera to the mount. First I'll tighten the bolt into the camera, and then I'll use the wing nut to snug the camera down on the base. Do not over tighten or you can strip the threads on the bottom of your camera. Now the camera mount's ready. You know, I really like this to help hold the camera. I think it's going to make it more versatile and usable around the shop, especially if I want to go on the move. You know, it also will work for taking selfies and be able to pan and zoom around objects. About the only changes I think I would make is to make the sh bolts a little bit shorter. These are all I had in the shop, but the next time I go to the hardware store, I think I'm going to grab some shorter bolts. I really like the way you can turn the camera to the left or to the right. And also, if you loosen the nut, you can turn it down like this if you want to do some panning around some equipment. It's really going to work out nice in the shop. I hope you like my project and my video. Well, hello, and thanks for watching me here on YouTube. You know, I have some other videos that you just might enjoy. So if you have a minute, check them out. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to me here on YouTube. I sure would appreciate it. And remember, if you're too darn busy to get out in the shop and make some sawdust, you're just too darn busy. Thanks again. God bless and have a nice day.